morning, um, City Faith Church. It's Monday and um, start of a new week. And I just wanted to bring you a little bit of an encouragement this week as we go into it. Um, and it's Psalms 40, actually. It's one of my favorite Psalms. And it says, and I'm reading it from the Passion Translation. And it says, and I waited and waited and waited some more, patiently knowing God would come through for me. Then at last, he bent down and listened to my cry. He stooped down to lift me out of danger from the desolate pit I was in, out of the muddy mess I had fallen into. Now he's lifted me up into a firm, secure place and steadied me while I walk along his ascending path. A new song for a new day rises up in me every time I think about how he breaks through for me. Ecstatic praise pours out of my mouth until everyone hears how God has set me free. Many will see his miracles. They'll stand in awe of God and fall in love with him. What a wonderful piece of scripture this morning. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't really like waiting. <laughs> in fact, waiting is probably the worst thing, you know, and yet you've got to find yourself waiting, waiting in the queue or waiting for God to do something. But waiting is not a great activity. And I know many times in our lives we've been waiting for things to happen. We've been waiting for God to come through for us. We've been waiting. And sometimes it seems like these things are never, ever, ever going to happen. And I know if I look back in my life, I can see so many times when people have said, don't worry, Michelle, it's going to happen. Don't worry, it's Michelle, it's going to happen. And guess what? In due time, it did happen, you know. And so I just wanted to encourage you this morning. God knows what you are waiting for. He knows that we're in a waiting season, even in COVID. He knows we are waiting eagerly to get back to church. We know we are waiting for life to turn back to normal and get back to normal. And he knows that. And there's going to come a time when, like the psalmist says to us this morning, he's going to stoop down and he's going to lift us out of this pit and he's going to set our feet upon a good place, a steady place. And then next year, when all this is over and we get into a place where we can live life um, fairly normally, we are going to be so grateful and we can really begin to give God thanks for what he's doing. You know, I can see so many times in my life where God has delivered me, where God has helped me. And I look back and it wasn't pleasant at the time having to go through it. And it wasn't easy going through some of those things. But you know what? I look back and I can see the hand of God. And this causes me to feel so grateful this morning, to feel so grateful for what the Lord has done, that we can birth forth. In fact, the psalm says to give ecstatic praise. Now, I don't know how you feel this Monday morning. Maybe you don't feel like giving ecstatic praise. Maybe it's, oh, it's Monday. But let me encourage you. Stand this morning and just say thank you, God, for delivering you. Thank you, God, for what he's done in your life, what he's continuing to do. You may not be where you want to be this morning, but he's going to get there. You know, a few weeks ago, a friend of mine called me. Oh, I actually think she sent me a message. And she said to me, Mish, Mish, she calls me Mish. She says, Mish, this pit ain't it. And I thought, what a great word. And let me share that with you. Wherever you find yourself this morning is not your final destination. This pit ain't it. And God has not finished. God is working in your life. And you know what? We can have so much that we can be thankful for. We can live with an expectation this morning and this week that God is going to do something for us. He's going to send a friend to encourage us. I don't know. You're going to get some good news. You're going to get a promotion. But we've got to live in that place that as we wait for God, we can wait expectantly for him to do. And we can encourage ourselves. You know, the Bible says we can encourage ourselves this morning. Encourage yourself by saying, this pit ain't it. And he's going to take your feet and out of the muddy clay and out of the muddy mire. And he's going to set you in a good place. And the last thing that you need to know is that many will see your life becomes a living testimony to the goodness of the Lord. So church, have a great week, City Faith. Know that this pit ain't it and that God is not finished with you today. Have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day.